Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 25 projects coming out to you five a week for five weeks and we're on to project number 13 which means past the halfway mark and onto the homeward straits. Still loads to come though and this is today's project. This is a tiny little bag to hold a lip balm. Now lip balms are reasonably standard in size. Um, they might be, so I've got Burt's Bees, um, they might be slightly tiny little bit longer or tiny little bit fatter but I don't know if you can hear there is a little bit of room for manoeuvre and there certainly is in height as you can see it falls through to that so there is room for this but this uses tiny little bit of paper and some stamping four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches 11 by 11 centimeters and I'm using the banner ear stamp set with the matching banners pick a punch I love this so you've got three different sizes for each style of um, banner that you want and we also have the tag version this one's in the annual catalog let me tip it so you can see the shapes this one's in the annual catalog this one's in the autumn winter I really hope it carries over because I'm addicted to it so banner year this is one of those stamp sets that is for all year round oh that's a courier pulling up please don't be for me <laughs> so you've got um, Valentine's, you've got Christmas, we've got all sorts. We've got Halloween, Autumn. Nope, he's reversing and moving and turning away. So I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with Christmas. But I'm going to go Father Christmas hat as well as the holly and the berries. So I don't know if you can see that there. There's the Father Christmas hat just there. It's teeny tiny. Right, so I, this one was just holly and the berries, adding in the Father Christmas hat. So I want diddy little blocks. So these are the A blocks. So that's for my berries, that's for my Father Christmas hat, and that's for my holly. So I'm gonna bring out cherry cobbler and real red and shaded spruce and I'm just going to randomly stamp so I'm going to come in with the shaded spruce holly, berry, holly leaves first and I'm just twisting the cardstock so that I don't have to twist my hand really just being a bit lazy I think that's probably as much as I need And I'm going to go with my real red for the holly berries and whoopsie, pop those in there. Hmm, got some gaps, need to fill a gap. So. Oops. Oh, I'm just going to stick some holly berries there. <laughs> I like to play at crafting. Can you tell? <laughs> I have so much fun. I love crafting. It's just a lot of fun. So Father Christmas hat and cherry cobbler. Just fill in the gaps. When I do random stamping, I tend to start with the biggest image first and then fill in the gaps around. There we go, that should do. Right, so let's get this project made. As I said before, four and a quarter by four and a quarter inches, 11 by 11 centimetres. And because it's random stamping, it doesn't matter which side you start on. But on the first side, score it at three quarters of an inch and three and a half inches, which in metric is two and nine centimetres. And then turn it round and score it, here we go, at one inch, one and three quarters, two and a half, three and a quarter and I think that was it yes that was the last one so that's two and a half four and a half six and a half and eight and a half centimeters don't worry everything's written down on my blog 
just click over in the description bar and you will see it all there okay so burnish this now this is whisper white just regular whisper white i've gone with it's not the thick whisper white because it's a tiny little project um, but be gentle when you're burnishing Whisper White. It's Our Whisper White is perfect and the best for stamping because it's been compressed super smooth. And that means that it is liable. Let me see if you can see that. Possibly not. It's liable to not crack because I haven't cracked it because I've been gentle, but it will ruffle. But if you're gentle with it, you'll be fine. So this is all going to roll up so this is how that's all my score lines and it's going to roll up and pinch like that so there's a few parts we don't need and that is these rectangles here we're going to keep the three squares can you see it better that side we're going to keep those three squares in the middle and it's the rectangles in all four corners so we're just going to get rid of all of those first Okay, all four gone. These three, we need to separate them all because they're going to fold up and over and on themselves. So if you keep the middle one as your straight and just cut a tiny little bit in to the outer two. If I put that down, if I put it over my hand, you can see it. So this one is straight, those two I've cut into and the same over on the other side as well. So that's all cut just like that so these are the parts that are going to fold in so we need to stick these two outer ones to this one here so if you fold them in um there's my seal no i want seal plus under my phone okay so you just fold in here oh I've, and do you know what i knew there was a thing i forgot to do let me just unfold that we've kept that one straight these four here you just need to take off a tiny little bit i knew i'd forgotten to tell you one thing this is what happens when you design a project and then you come back to it three weeks before, later to film it okay so let's try that again i've nicked off those little edge bits there so bring that round and I've stuck it to myself and that one because it's a little project you know there's you need to be using your fingers rather than your hands to put it together there we go so that's my little baggie that's been left it's so cute I love it I love how it looks um, I have got the finished dimensions for you so it's two and three quarters this way three quarters of an inch that way and to the highest point which is here it's one and three quarters um, so in metric seven and a half by two by four and a half so as long as your lip balm is going to fit inside and mine does you're good to go i'm going to pinch these now and i'm going to pop a couple of holes in and i'm going to grab this is our old hole punch we don't have this anymore a bit sad because it was great. There we go. And then we've got the new real red um, braided linen trim. I think I prefer that side. Although to be fair, I'm going to be covering it with words. I'm going to go with this side as the front. Yeah, braided linen trim in real red. I love our natural one that we've got in the annual catalogue and we've had it for a while now. Um, so it's nice to have it in red. Oh, 
I like it because it doesn't mind me tying bows. Except I can't see the thread because it's the same colour as my nails. <laughs> there we go. And then, of course, because we're using the banner year, and I'm going to be using the banner punch as well, let me find a phrase. So I went Christmas wishes. I can't speak. Christmas wishes on my original one. I might go a treat so sweet. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense because it's lipstick. Lip balm. I'll go Christmas wishes again. <laughs> you could put sweeties inside. That would be ideal. I'd be happy with sweeties arriving like that. Right, let's get some scrap paper. That's going to fit on there. So my Christmas wishes... I'm measuring it up. It's half an inch. So it's about a centimetre and a quarter. And I'm going to grab this one because it's here. Oh, it doesn't go down that small. Let's bring in the big punch, the big um, trimmer. So, yeah, what did I say? Half an inch. And I'm going to stamp, then cut, then punch. And real red. And I'm going to go all the way to the far left. And I'm going to eyeball roughly where I want my punch, my flag tail to start. And this one sits in the smallest channel. Insta flag. Love it. Right, let's get some dimensionals. And I want edge pieces for this. Or an edge piece. On the front, just there. That's a super cute little gift. Great craft fair seller. If you could get your lip balms at a decent price, or maybe you sell your own lip balms, you could put them in boxes. But very sweet, very cute. I hope you like them. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.